This is Rao Talk. In this episode, I will talk about podcasting, my experience with podcasting. So what is it? Why am I doing it? And what have I learned in the year and a half that I've done it? So first of all, what is a podcast? Um, I don't know the exact clear definition that everyone would agree with, but it's kind of like a TV show on the internet. But it's basically, for me, it's interviews or conversations. Obviously, there's a lot of varieties, like some are produced, like crime podcasts, but uh, mostly I listen to conversations or interviews. So, yeah, it's a chance to interview someone or talk to someone. And I started mine in the summer of 2020 during the pandemic. And uh, for me, it was a good way to just talk to my friends and keep in touch some reason when you say you're doing a podcast and you want to invite someone it's a nice way to kind of sit and just talk about something even though it is over the internet um, otherwise like if uh, you are at a restaurant or hanging out with someone uh, obviously you know before uh, covid there's a lot of distractions you know but a chance to just sit down and talk Aside from a podcast, I don't know too many other situations that would arise. Like maybe if someone was having a really tough time, you would sit together and talk to somebody. But that's just one example. So, yeah, why do I do the podcast? I was uh, inspired to do it for a couple of reasons. First of all, it was something to do during the pandemic. Then, like I said, it was a good way to keep in touch with uh, friends. It's also a good way to uh, hopefully in the future meet new people and talk to them and uh, for example it would be cool to talk to the authors so yeah i was inspired by the the joe rogan podcast that's the first one i ever saw it would have been maybe four or five years ago uh, there was a co-worker who was reading this book he was reading this book called uh, Becoming a Subtle Leopard. And so I think I searched it on YouTube one day. And the author is Kelly Sterrett. And he was on the Joe Rogan podcast. So it was an interview. So I just listened to it. And that was cool. Then sometime later, I heard about Bulletproof Coffee. The, the creator of that was on there. So I listened to another episode. And eventually, yeah, you know, after you listen to a couple episodes, you go back to that. So this was back when the podcast was on YouTube. So I would just play the video and just kind of watch or move around the room in my bedroom and just do some housework like cleaning or organizing stuff. So, yeah, it was kind of new to just kind of listen in on two people having conversations. There weren't as many edits like in TV shows or interviews that air on TV. So that was nice. And uh, yeah, it just felt like you're invited to a conversation. So I like that. And uh, yeah, so that was the inspiration of that. And so it's been a year and a half since I started. I've done 39 episodes up until now. Most of them have been conversations with my friends. In the beginning, I just invite you know, people to talk about whatever. And uh, some of those friends uh, led to, I mean, after talking to those friends, I started asking people that I knew, like extended people, you know, uh, classmates from public school, things like that. And yeah, there were some cool people, you know, some musicians and a uh, yoga instructor, stuff like that. So, that's always fun. Those are things that are interesting. I don't know too much about the music industry and I've done yoga. So anyway, you just keep asking people and I kind of led from one episode to the next. And it was pretty good. Like, um, I didn't have any trouble booking episodes for a few months, but the last year, since the summer of last year in 2021, it became a little tougher. Things were opening up. People were busy. And uh, so I had to do something else. So I started 
thinking about doing solo episodes, and I just did one, which was uh, the review of The Count of Monte Cristo, just to try it out. So that's been fun. I hope to continue that. And the third type of episode I've done are book chats. I read a book, and I ask one of my friends to read a book, and then we talk about it for an hour. So that was cool. I did that. I started that a while ago in the summer or a bit before that. And uh, since September last year, I was working at a, this bookstore um, in Digo. And yeah, that kind of fueled my interest in books. Of course, I use the employee discount to buy as many books as possible. And so, yeah, I've done three of those. I hope to do more. And uh, yeah, I've learned that it's tough to book people. Um, I'm doing it over the internet, so there's uh, something missing. Like when you're in a room with somebody, that's missing. And that's too bad. I hope to do in-person episodes in the future. That depends on equipment, having studio, lighting. I want to do videos, so it's a whole complicated thing. And uh, it's been really good to improve my speaking. I want to be an excellent speaker, so it's a good chance to ask questions, listen, and Think of something uh, interesting to say. It's been fun. I hope to keep doing it more. There's no end in sight, but that could come at any time. So, yeah, it's been a fulfilling experience, and it continues to be so. So that's podcasting. Yeah, that's it. This is Rao Talk.